hello there and welcome back to my fellow Pythonistas. We are going to take a turn and uh, continue our Flask journey. So uh, when you are developing with Flask a web application, it might be a handy thing to generate a Swagger API. So Swagger API allows you to discover what kind of functionalities provided to you by Flask or the web application and it's kind of a dynamically generated documentation for your API. So this is what we are going to do with the Flask REST Plus uh, named uh, module. So in order to use this, we need to install Flask and Flask REST Plus. And I think both are already satisfied because I have been playing around with that. And now we are going to create our hello world dot py so what goes into the hello world dot py what we need to do is to import from the flask the flask class we also need to do uh, we, we also need to import from the flask rest plus the resource and the api and if you are familiar with flask development you always create your application this way. So app equals flask, the underscore name, the underscore. And now what we need to do is to create our API. So the API will come from the API and we will pass the flask application to the API. <coughs> now, <laughs> Now what we are going to do is to decorate not a function as you would do in Flask, but a class. So we say that app.route hello and we will simply say that hello world class which inherits from the resource which we have just uh, imported here. And we need to define the appropriate HTTP functions. So the get method will return something that we would like to have returned. And here we define what we would like to return. So hello and world. And now in order to run our flask rest plus application we need to check if the name equals main and then we need to call the app dot run and mm, debug equals true now if we save it and say that python hello world oh boy <coughs> I think I have made a typo yes I did so now it should run and if we go and grab a browser so forgive me because I'm going to use the edge browser but technically if we add the hello here you can see what was the response so hello world now if we go back to the context route you will see that we have this automatically generated swagger.json returned and here we are in the default namespace and if we click on the drop down menu you will see the documentation for the hello context route and this is based on the class that we have passed and you will see that the response that is returned is application slash json because uh, we have passed dict dictionary to the return and you will see the status code and so on and we can try it out and as you can see the response body was hello colon world and uh, that was technically it what i wanted to show you in the first video in the next video we are going to let's say further develop our test application stay tuned thank you for watching